Welcome to the 2021 eggplant build. We're building the P38. We're painting it pink. And here's just the quickest look at the parts, the way they come in the box. This is the what's in the box. Here's that sprue. There's that sprue. There's this sprue. And that sprue. And that's it. Now I am happy to see, look here, these machine guns are actually molded in because on the box it looks like a decal. It really looks like a decal. Of course that's, the whole thing looks like a decal because it's a drawing. Anyway, there is the canopy. Don't want to take it out of the plastic because I don't want to scratch it up. And anyway, that is it. I noticed after the uh, entry video, look at the rainbow stripes. You can't quite, you don't really notice it on the, uh, the front, but when you look at the decal sheet, which I've already lost, um, yeah, it's going to be quite colorful and pink and rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we've been working it's been there's been quite a bit of work done um, since the last scene as you can see we finally got the uh, top and bottom halves of the egg section together and um, nasty seam all filled in and sanded and uh, ready to uh, be painted Got the fuselages done the same way. Nasty seams on those are all filled in. Something that you always run into on airplanes is you better be ready to do some seam work. Uh, the thing in the middle there, that of course is the uh, horizontal stabilizer. And the little thing sticking up on there, there's one on the top and on the bottom. Try to pick that up. They're referring to those as, boy, look at that nasty cut. But they're referring to these as balancers. And I haven't quite looked that up on the internet to find out what on earth that is. But I'm curious to know what uh, the function is on that. Obviously, it's not for focus. It's not helping with focus at all. It's it's balancer, of course not. So it might be balancing, but not focusing. Anyway, over here I've got the... Uh, I glued these onto Q-tips so that I could paint them. They're uh, white glued on there, so they'll pop right off. These are little fuel tanks. Same thing, nasty seam all the way across. Had to fill, had to sand. Uh, what else? we got the uh, wheels are getting ready. They are also going to be pink. Not the uh, tires. Just the wheel part. They got to be pink. And then I think the... Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of uh, change up as I go. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do there. But I have decided not to do two-tone. The whole thing is going to be the lighter pink because it's easier. Anyway, next scene, there should be a lot of things painted and ready to start putting things together. Okay, so getting going on the painting, I had forgotten to mention that we got to do some assembly. So as you can see here, we assembled the main portion of the plane, fuselages to the wings and the horizontal st stabilizer. Um, but not everything. As you can see over here, I have left these um, fuel pods off of there for now because of where they go. They're going to go right... See those big slots there? That's where they go, and they're in a tight area. I'm just thinking that if they're glued on first, I'll have trouble getting paint coverage in there, so we'll glue those on afterwards. And I've got the wheels ready to go, and uh, this little door 
for the front uh, landing gear, I think it is. And so we're going to give it a wipe down because uh, my fingerprints are all over it. We're going to put some alcohol in a cup. And I've got these, uh, I just got these. These are electronic lint-free cleaning swabs. And they come in a big pack. And as you can see, they're a nice size for cleaning model cars, lint-free, if you're ready, getting ready for painting, which is what I'm doing. And, of course, there's the paint. Ballet Slipper P38. My, my, my. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, so, wow, it's pink. I mean, it's pink. So, this is what a pink P38 looks like. I think that the P in P38 might just stand for pink. I'm wrong. But anyway, it is a thick coat of paint, and I will explain. I had a problem here on the nose. This was one of those situations that we've all run into at one point or another where the paint, no matter how much you clean it, continues to wrinkle up. So I had to uh, sand it all down, and it was a pretty nasty uh, run because I kept on trying to apply paint to the nose and had to sand the entire run off. And uh, then, of course, you have to repaint the whole plane. So the whole plane has been painted about six times. We got real thick paint here. So all the detail is uh, filled up for the most part. And it's just taking away from the realism. Because otherwise, you wouldn't be able to tell it from the real plane. Anyway, there's the belly. And, uh, that's that. It is pink. I mean, pink. So, over here, here's some of the other parts, how they came out. Those are the fuel pods. Really came out nice. And uh, I think these are guns. They, they mount up on the top of the... Uh, right there. And then that's the uh, wheel door and uh, the propeller, the front... Uh... Boy, talk about contrast. And yeah, I decided to go with white for the seat. And this, uh, this thing behind the seat... Um, because, well, I'll get to that later. And the landing struts also in white. The contrast between pink and white. I mean, if we're going for girly, let's go for girly. You know, the, so you'd have to see it on there. And you will see it on there. Something else I wanted to point out. Something I'm going to be going with on the canopy. Now, first inclination... The reason for this is laziness. But, I am not going to paint all of the bracing on there. I'm going to leave it as this clear bubble dome so that you can see inside the cockpit, cockpit you know. I know it's going to take away from realism, but you're going to be able to see the seat and the the panel, there's a decal for the panel and everything, and well, I mean, let's face it, the whole thing is ridiculous anyway, so let's let's do that. I might paint the little machine guns uh, purple. And I'm asking my daughter for her old sticker collection. My daughter's 14, but she still has her sticker collection from when she was, what? Three. So, uh, looking forward to adding some details to that. Other than that, I don't... Oh, yeah, well, the wheels there. And they are also pink. I have some work to do on those because trying to get the pink into the wheel 
has built up too much paint on the tire, so I've got to sand it off now. But so the tires will be tire color with pink wheels on white struts. Yes. Okay, moving right along. As you can see, I've got the guns mounted on the top here. And the fuel pods are on there. And that's looking sharp. That is really looking good. Um, as pink airplanes go, that looks good. So, the next thing we're working on here is the uh, landing gear. I have the uh, wheel parts are, of course, pink. And the struts are white. And I painted the tires with uh, just a Sharpie and a magic marker. And it's like the perfect sheen for tires. And they'll be going on here now. So we'll be putting on the wheels and the propellers and the seat. And uh, then we'll see what it looks like. But it looks delicious, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a dessert? Okay, so we're going to get started doing some decals. And my, 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 look at all that. This is why I haven't put the propellers on yet. Because all these decals go in between the blades. If you can see here. There are little separate sections in between each blade section. And uh, then those little yellow ones. These ones down here go on the tips. So basically, my, 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 my. That is going to be a challenge. But I can do it. Now this big decal here on the front, this big one that looks like a bat, I don't know if I'm going to put that on. Now the whole decal scheme here this is what I want to advise everybody. So what I've done, wondering what the heck is going on here, I actually watched a documentary on the P-38. Now, you, <laughs> you guys that are building the egg planes, whatever you do, don't watch a documentary on the subject that you're building because out of respect, you may not be able to go on. This, um, I didn't know much about the P-38, but the P-38 is a major zero killer. It, it was the big devastating thing. A lot of people, oh my, 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 lots and lots and lots of people died flying this plane. And then I go and paint it pink. But I mean, that was after Hasegawa did this. And... It's even worse. This particular plane, Putt Putt Maru, is, if you can read right there, I'll zoom in, Colonel McDonald's plane. And at first, I was kind of having fun with this rainbow scheme, but as it turns out, his real plane really had all that on that. This is decorated like his real plane is. It's in a museum now. Uh, he was a World War II ace, flying the P-38, and he was in charge of the whole P-38 operations over there. And uh, he chose, I don't know if it was him personally, it must have been, chose the uh, rainbow scheme. It's perfect for this build, but I don't know. I thought that they were just having fun here for the eggplant or girl idea but uh, no his plane really has all that on there I'll try to insert a picture of the real plane in there not sure if uh, I'm actually gonna find one or not but I can't after, out of respect <laughs> I can't do it I can't put his name on the plane and so I'm gonna differentiate it a little bit probably won't actually put putt putt maru on there 
so we'll make a unique we got to put the rainbows on there because it's perfect for this but yeah just you guys don't watch documentaries on the real planes because wow what a what a blasphemy this is <laughs> anyway speaking of which i am plan planning another series of builds and it is going to be called the Apology Series. Now, I've done three of these eggplants so far. Um, I did the SR-71, the B-17, and now the P-38. And of all three of those, I will be buying the real airplanes and building them the correct way, just as an apology to the old... Air Force pilots, an apology to the Air Force, apology <laughs> to the um, Lockheed and Boeing and all the airplane builders because, you know, wow. I've already started, by the way, I've got, whoa, it's pan way up and zoom in. And now I know I, I built the B-17 as a bumblebee. And uh, so the idea would be to buy a B-17, but I bought a B-29 because I couldn't resist. So this, uh, this is the Enola Gay, and it will be built the correct way. It is an awesome kit. Uh, but that is going to be the apology for the B-17. And then I will get an SR-71, and I'm deciding which... P-38 to get because there's a bunch of varieties. I think I'm looking for the meanest one that was out there. So late war mean mean mean. I might I might do try to find General or um, Colonel McDonald's um, de real decal set for um, possibly the Tamaya uh, P-38 might be good. So yeah reality check. Don't watch the documentaries. Um, but we'll be working on the decals here. As you can see, I've got landing gear on. And we're moving forward. So, who knows what we'll have in the next scene. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Got to mention. These things here. That I was... It really pays to watch the uh, documentaries. These things that I was foolishly calling guns. They couldn't be guns because they would be firing. Kind of looks like a gun tip there. But they couldn't be guns because then they'd be firing at the propellers. Now what these are, these are the turbo superchargers for the engines. And, um, you know, they painted them black on here. I don't know if that's exactly the right shade of whatever they're supposed to be. But, yeah, no, that's a turbo spool. And then this is a supercharger setup. Because this was a very fast plane. And so that explains that. Alrighty, moving on. Okay, so here is a look at how the decaling is going. Overall, pretty happy. Um, not done yet. I've still got some on the uh, uh, sheet. But uh, the little panel is on there. And uh, looking pretty good. i got to touch up the edge of that back. And with the white backing plate, I've got to brush paint some white onto there. Uh, decals are going on, um, you know, Hasegawa decals aren't the best decals, but um, making it work. Now, in one area where I was not able to get it to work was the uh, propellers here. As I was explaining, the the area in between there, that is three separate decals that look like this. And they're meant to fit on the propeller in between the blades. And we all knew that wasn't going to go well. And it did not go well. Now I've been trying and trying and trying on this. I've been working on it. I give up. I do give up. The problem that's happening there, as you can see over on this other one, it's a two-piece setup there with a propeller and the cone. And there is an air gap 
in between the two and what what happens is it, it gets wet in there and you cannot get that area to dry you know when you're putting a decal on you're rolling the water out and uh, getting it to dry I've had I've got setting solution two different types of setting solution on there and the setting solution won't dry in between and you can't get it to dry so you can't get it to lay down so I give up I'm just gonna get it all wet and take it off and this is what the propeller is gonna look like of course there's still some more decals to go on that propeller there's more pieces offhand I don't know where they are but I'll find them uh, so these decals are gonna come off and I took some artistic license I took those same decals I would agree you need some color near the front if you get the rainbows in the back you gotta have some rainbows in the front so I put them right here these are just two of those propeller sections that will balance out the ridiculous rainbow pattern and so yeah we just gotta get the uh, these decals here these half moons are for the bottom of the uh, the vertical uh, stabilizer there they go down here looking forward to that because I just noticed there's some kind of an indentation there that's going to keep that from happening nice oh yeah so there yeah on the bottom of these wraparound decals we do have a little overlap on them and I'm totally fine with that but coming together pretty well next scene should be all the decals done and it does seem to tip backwards I th I'm hoping that once the canopy and the propellers are on it's not gonna I don't know see that it's already standing up barely I think it's gonna stay on its wheels okay so next scene should be there it goes should be mostly together on the next scene also got to paint those guns Okay. Okay, well, so I jumped ahead a little bit. I'm noticing in my updates, and it is finished. And. Wow. So. Wow. And yes, that is a rabbit flying it. That is a baby rabbit. I think it'd be better to say bunny at this point. That is a Lego baby bunny. It's the only thing that would fit in a seat. And as you can see there, that's a good example of the way the... Um, not painting the cockpit details will let you see in there and i'm i'm realizing that not painting that and of course putting the rabbit in there ruins the whole model it's no longer realistic boy how would you like to see that coming at you if you were the enemy, whoa, there's got to be a different way to perish than to have the, uh, rabbit flying a pink airplane. Anyway, um, yeah, the propeller tips, we'll go into some details here. Propeller tips were little tiny decals, and they were impossible, so we just painted them. The uh, little propeller decals are decals. The machine guns in the front got filled up with paint, so I just put little dots of black on there. And that's all we can do. It's impressive looking, you know, I had sent this picture to Tom, old Tom, and we had a little bit of a laugh about it. Kind of looks like uh, 
donut or a cupcake or a cake, he suggested to put sprinkles on it. I told him he's basically right. This is just one of those things. Uh, you had to do it once to see how bad bad can get. And now I don't have to do it anymore. As I had said, there is going to be a full apology series of airplanes. The P-38 is definitely going to be one of them. It has to be done. The apology to the Air Force, to the pilots, and the plane maker. I've got one picked out already, and uh, look for that. Wow. What else is there to say about it? Nothing. Nothing more can be said about this. Wow. How did this happen? How did that happen?